Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast. And this is my Makeup Monday for Monday the 3rd of June 2024. Today I'm going to do a technique. Um, I have done this technique before but I thought I'd have another play with it. And I'm using the Layers of Beauty stamp set. Um, the technique is a, called Whitewash Technique. So I thought I'd just play with this again and share it again. So let's go down to the craft desk and we can get started. Okay. First of all, <clears throat> this is my June host code. So I have put it up on my blog um, with a, a June image. And I've put a, a link on that image that if you click on that image, it'll take you straight to my online store and automatically attach that host code if you'd like to shop with me. Um, any orders over the over the $70 mark will go into my make and create um, event for the next month so my make and create event is a Facebook live video that I do at the end of the month for anybody who's placed a $70 or more order with me the previous month so if your order is over $70 I will post out a little card pack to you and I'll do that Facebook live towards the end of the month and you can create along with me or just watch the video and then create the card later that's up to you the other thing i want to let let you know about is my card and a cuppa now has a new time i will be going live on facebook on wednesdays at 3 p.m used to be friday but i've changed it to wednesday at 3 p.m so that's my new card and a cuppa time so just a couple of announcements there so let's get started okay i'll show you what we're playing with first the bundle that we're playing with so it's in the new catalog um, page 57 and it's called layers of beauty and it's a stamp photopolymer stamp set it's got dies that can cut out the stamp set the stamped images and it's also got these masks that you can lay over this image and color and it's, it's a beautiful bundle. I am running a class at the end of June using this bundle. At the moment that class is full, but if I have any more interest for that class, I will run it a second time. I'll put a second session on and another date if people are interested in it. So go to my blog and have a look um, in my class schedules, the tab at the top. You'll see the cards we're going to make with this bundle on the 29th of June. And if you're interested in that class, give me, uh, send me a message and we can sort out another class time to run a second class. But this is what we're playing with today. So, I'll move that to one side and I'll change that again around. Now I want to show you a couple of cards I've already played with um, this technique. So these are a couple of cards I was playing with and came up with um, so yeah this one was using Lost Lagoon and pretty Lost Lagoon and pretty peacock and this one was petunia pop and berry burst so what I'm doing is I'm just whitewashing the larger rose images on this little card piece that I'm putting on the top and I'm using the big background stamp well it's not a background stamp the big image stamp to create my own background this one I actually went ahead and coloured in a couple of little daisies on the background but I don't know if I'll do that today because sometimes there's not many showing so <laughs> I think I'll just leave the main focus to the rose. So as I said Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock and this one's Petunia Pop and Berry Burst but today I thought we'd play with um, Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. So these are there's not a lot of product or cardstock that you need for this card because the stamp set and the technique pretty much does it all that's it <laughs> those four pieces so you've got your a5 card base um a4 cut in half lengthwise so it's 10.5 centimeters by 29.7 scored at 14.9 centimeters and that's it in inches if you want imperial four and an eighth by 11 and three quarters You've got your matting piece, 
of misty moonlight and it's 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters or four inches by five and three quarters you've got a layering piece of knight of navy seven centimeters by 9.5 and it's pretty much two two and no near two and three quarters by three and three quarters and then you've got your piece of misty moonlight that will go over the top it's 6.5 centimeters by nine centimeters or two and a half inches by three and a half inches so that's what i've used and i've got a piece of um misty moonlight here for my sentiment but i may i may just use white for my sentiment because i don't think it will stand out very well on the misty moonlight so i'll think about that when we get to that part <laughs> so if you want those measurements you can take a screenshot and then we'll start playing okay so I can take that off I can take that off they're my standard ones these ones are not so standard <laughs> so um, I'm going to put my card base and my knight of navy to one side so we don't get into our pickle with that and I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat <clears throat> and a little bit of paper, grid paper, just to protect my mat. Mind you, I have stamped on my mat before. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a croak in my throat, so I'll just have a sip of water. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, Knight of Navy ink and our craft white ink that's what we're using today so I'm just going to get my Knight of Navy and I'm going to ink up my big rose image <coughs> and because it's photopolymer it's good to have your paper piercing mat you'll get a bit of better image with it <coughs> oh, I wish this tickle would go away okay so I am just going to pop it over this side and press it down really firmly on my misty moonlight piece of cardstock just checking what cardstock I had <laughs> so I'm just going to press down I do prefer to use the, the stamparatus which has now retired for um, big stamps but it wouldn't really have worked for me for this what I'm the purpose of today <laughs> So I'm going to just ink that up again. I should have got my cards that I've got for the class for this. I should have brought them up, up but I didn't think of that because <laughs> I'm not that clever. Okay, now I'm just working my stamp, turning, twisting it around to try and get the best position for it. So we're filling up the whole of the background of the matting piece. So I'm pretty sure that's looking pretty good. And then we'll just come in and put a little bit more over here. <clears throat> and if you don't like what you've done, you just turn your cardstock over and do it again. <laughs> That's the beauty. There's no right or wrong. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And I'll just put, I'll just work out which piece is going to, that piece sort of fits in there. So I'll just ink up that piece. Just there. <clears throat> And I'm just going to fit it into that little gap, like so. And that gives you, like, your matting piece is completely covered. There we go. With the stamp, the image covers the whole thing. And that's what we want. So I'll move that to one side. Now I'm going to bring in my little tiny piece of Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to ink up I'll ink up the whole image but I really want just I'll show you just sort of this part with the roses on it and so let's close our night of navy up so we don't get into trouble well I don't get into trouble I'm known to get into trouble <laughs> okay and I'm just going to put this line this up on my piece of cardstock so that I get this rose, this rose, and a piece of this rose. Does that make sense? 
getting the most out of my image but still covering almost the whole piece of cardstock. <clears throat> oh, silly voice. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. So now, just make sure, because otherwise I can do it again on the other side. No, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, now I'm just going to get my chamois in <coughs> and just wipe the ink off my stamp. And so I do get quite inky doing this, but, you know, that's, that's part of the fun. Not as inky as you could get. <laughs> so I will just move that to one side and put that back in the stamp case later on. Okay. So I'll hang on to my Knight of Navy because, and I'll bring this down. Um, as I said, I might stamp on white cardstock. So this is the Craft White ink pad. This is my very old one. I've had this one a long time. The new one, the new Craft White ink pad is this, these two old ones. <laughs> Let's get a new, that's one of the new in colours. And so the new Craft ink pad looks like this, like the normal ink pads. I just have two because I needed a second one for class one at one time. But yeah, so they're both the same really. And the best. I find with the white wash technique, you can put a little bit of re inker on a block, but you know what? I find the best way to do it is just squish a block into the ink so you've got your white ink on your, um, your block. And with a blender pen, now I keep one specifically for white wash technique and I just put a little label on it. And I don't use it for any other colours. And I find that's really helpful. The blender pens you can buy. Um, they're in the annual catalogue. You can get a pack of three. Let me just show you how they come. So they come a pack of three. And I think they're $23 from memory. And yeah. So these pens have a little bit of um, glycerol in them. Um doesn't actually say exactly what's in them but there's sort of there's a bit of liquid in them that can help it helps you spread ink around um, but this is the best way I find to do your whitewash technique now I just want to grab the rose images here and here oh I didn't mean to do that I put white on my <laughs> so this rose image this rose image and there's one here I just want to grab some white ink on my blender pen and I'll start over here and we're just going to color and now when you just use your classic ink pads try not to get the white ink on the Knight of Navy line does that make sense <clears throat> so keep away from the inked in the, the stamped image line and put your white inside because otherwise you're going to color, cover up the line image and you just just brush it onto your cardstock like so and just put more white ink onto your blender pen and come back and color like so now the white ink does fade so you can go back over it um, I gen on dark can you see how that's fading on darker cardstock I tend to go over it a couple of times but I just get some ink down first and keeping away from the Knight of Navy um, line of the image of the stamp and that's why the blender pens are great because they've got like a lovely fine tip on them and you can be precise like that so I'll just I'll just paint this rose and I'll show I'll pull it up close to the camera so you can see 
the whitewash technique is really fun technique um, and it's just good to play it's sometimes things don't work and other times they work really well and you can be amazed with the effect you can get but it's just it's just um, a matter of playing and see what you can come up with so you can see how I'm avoiding the stamped image line Go down here. <clears throat> and you can see I'm just going back to my block and putting my blender pen back into the white ink to fill it up. Well, not fill it up, but to add some more ink to the pen, to the blender pen. And you just can... Now, the white ink is quite wet. It's not a pig... Uh, it's not a... It's not like a classic ink pads it's more it's a pigment ink so you can actually um, heat emboss with the white ink the craft ink and I'll just so when it goes on it's quite dark but then it does as it soaks into the cardstock it does sort of fade a little bit that's why you might have to put a second or third coating or application of ink onto your image but then it's just up to you as to how dark you want it. Okay, so that's one rose done. So let me lift that up. And you can see, <clears throat> you can see where it's faded. It started to dry. It soaked into the cardstock and it started to dry. So let's do another little bit more. Uh, let's go over to this rose. And let me have a look. Oh, that one's covered up here, <laughs> but I'll start here. And it's just really nice. It's a lovely technique. And when, you, when you're doing it, sometimes you sort of think, oh, I don't like that. It looks a bit splotchy. But as it dries and soaks into the cardstock, it actually turns out quite nice. So... Don't sort of, you know, think it's all bad just because when you first apply it, it looks a bit, you know, dodgy. Like, that looks a bit dodgy to me. <laughs> Can you see? I don't like the look of that. But give it time to soak in and dry and see what you think after that. So I'm just going up here, keeping away from the Night of Navy ink line. And... There we go. So it's it's just like colouring. It's just like colouring in with your markers or your blends, but you're using the white ink. And it's called white wash. Okay, so you can see the first rows we've done. Some of it's faded right in. So if I want to go and go back and put a bit more colour, a bit more white over it, I just apply some more over the top so let's do that and I'll show you how that looks once we've done it and it's soaked in again okay um, let me just sink I'll go here the hardest thing is keeping away from the the Knight of Navy inked lines but if you can do that, and because the blender pen's got a point on it, it's not too difficult. So I'm just putting a little bit more white all over my rose. So I do like two coats. <laughs> it's like <laughs> when you paint your house or like a bedroom. One coat's... You know, it doesn't sort of do much, but the second coat really lifts it up. It's a bit like that. Okay. <coughs> Let me just... <coughs> so, can you see... Oh, I'm going to put my finger in it. So, be, be aware that it is wet. <laughs> Until it soaks in a little bit. You can hit it with your heat tool if you want to dry it off quicker. But can you see how that second application makes it stand out a little bit more 
and it's quite nice and can you see this one that I thought was looking a bit dodgy as it's drying it's actually looking quite nice does that make sense I hope it does so I won't bore you with coloring all of this one I can show you one that I've prepared earlier Ta -da! <laughs> so I didn't want to bore you with that but you can see let me put my lid on my pen <clears throat> and move my ink away you can see how once it's dried and soaked in it looks quite nice can you see that so this one's still got a little bit of drying to do but I did two applications so two coats on my roses and that's how that one turned out so I'll finish this one off another time but let's just move that just let's close the white ink up <clears throat> and put it somewhere there and let's get a You can see I've been playing. Wipe your block onto your chamois or your stamp and scrub, and that cleans your block off. Quite easy. Okay, so let's move that to one side and think about. Okay, let's bring uh, bits and pieces back in. And see, so we're going to put that onto our night of navy um, but before we do that I'm going to dauber around the edges of my misty moonlight cardstock if I can find my night of navy dauber is that it yes and let's just check it's not dying on me I, I placed an order for more daubers today <laughs> if you remember last week's class or video my dauber was falling apart terribly <laughs> so I put an order through this morning and to to get a new packet of daubers so you get five daubers in a pack and it's I think it was 13.25 and as I said they are a consumable because they do the foam in them does rot and they do tend to fall apart but you still get quite a long life out of them so I'm just running around the edge here with my Knight of Navy ink just to it sort of gives it like a faux layer of another piece of cardstock without doing another piece of cardstock oh, this one looks like it could be making a few fluffs breaking up of the foam but we'll just persevere okay so that's that and I will go around our little whitewash piece there we go is that enough let's just keep going and see But you can see how I avoided the Knight of Navy lines of the image. You don't want to, I mean, I've gone over it a fraction here, but you don't want to go over the line, the image um, ink. Okay. okay I think that's pretty good so let's put that <clears throat> I probably should have ordered more than one pack of daubers I probably should have ordered <laughs> three packs <laughs> because I think I need to <laughs> okay so this is our sample card here so I am just going to attach that to my Knight of Navy matting piece so I'll get my glue So there is a, a, um, a special coming on the 5th of June and it's any bundles like the bundle I'm using today, the Layers of Beauty bundle. Now that bundle, all bundles, when they're bundled together, stamp set and dies, and this one's got masks, they're always 10% off. 
the cheaper than buying the dies and the stamp set individually. But on the 5th of June, right through to the 30th of June, you'll get another 10% off all the bundles in the catalogue. So this one is already reduced 10%, but you'll get another $9.97 off it. So that's come, that special is coming on the 5th of June, which is Wednesday. And that will be really good <laughs> because everyone likes to get some discounts on any bundle. So I'm just going to reinforce my score line. And I'm going to layer that down. I'm not going to pop it. I'm going to pop that little piece. So let me just put glue on the back here. And pop that down. Nice. But so you can see how using the big stamp and just stamping it certain ways you can actually create your own background which is a really nice thing to do so you can you can do that with any stamps like the stippled roses that i used last week you could do it with that as well i'll put the lid back on that okay <clears throat> so these were my two sample cards i put one to the left one to the right i could do this one in the middle I could do this one round this way. Um, just that looks upside down to me. Yes, that definitely looks upside down. I think that looks the best way. That one doesn't. No, I think that look does look the best way. So let's put some dimensionals on that. <clears throat> okay. Where's my little pokey tool? Oh look, I can't find it. I'll get my take your pick tool and turn it round. There we go. Get all those backings off. And let's work out where we're gonna put that. I could put it in the center. I could do that actually this time, couldn't I? Let's just go for that. Let's just bring that down and make sure I get it centered. Okay, so that's that. And let me just grab my little banner box. Because I don't think... I, I don't think... A coordinating card piece is going to look any good on this one so let me just grab my little banner box and see what banners I've got and oh, that's way too big <laughs> otherwise I might have to quickly cut one because um, I was going to use this unbounded love stamp set so I've used on this one I used may all your wishes come to true this one I've used it with sympathy because we never really like making sympathy cards but sometimes it's handy to have a, a sympathy card. Now let's... These are all... Ooh, may, ooh, maybe that one. But let's see what fits it. Let's have a look. I think that would look alright. So let's see what might fit that. I don't think the happy birthday fits. No, it doesn't. Oh, look, the celebrate would fit. And that might be nice. Let's go with celebrate. Now, I don't know if I've used celebrate before, so I am going to put that on my block. And I'm going to get my eraser and just run it over. Because with photopolymer stamps, I do find that helps when you first use them because they come from the factory with oils and things on them. So I do find that helps. Some people rub it on their jeans or whatever. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to ink that up. I think that will look nice. And I probably should have had my mat underneath me. Let's hope that's straight. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Clean it 
off as I go. Okay, so we can get rid of my little banner box. Don't squish any of them. <laughs> it's just handy having them um, pre-cut. Okay, so I think, shall I do that down flat or will I do that? And I thought I might put a little bit of this. Um, silver and white sheer ribbon. Got a little tiny bit left over, but I don't think that's going to work for me. I'm wondering if I should put like a bow up the top here. Let's do it just before we place our banner. Let's do a little, a little bow. I ordered some other um, iridescent white ribbon in the catalogue this morning. Um, that looks really interesting. It's in one of the bundles or one of the sweets that I don't have. But I thought, oh, that ribbon looks interesting. I think I need that. <laughs> you don't really need anything, do you? But I think if I cut that tail shorter, I think that might look nice. Let's have a little look. Oh, I've just clicked over the half hour, so that's good. I haven't gone too long. Let's have a little look. Mm. No, I don't like it down here. Don't like it down here. Mm, no. <laughs> um, I think that's all right. I think that will do. Let me think. Let me think. I might pop my sentiment. I do like my sentiments popped. Let's just do it. This is a little bit of left over. And that one. And I don't know where my other little pokey tool's gone. It's on my desk somewhere. My desk is a mess. I still haven't cleaned it. <laughs> so let me just center that on. Oops. Center that on our panel. That looks pretty nice. And I could put it. I think I like it there. It's very feminine, isn't it? Which is quite nice. So I'll put it right up in this corner and then it's sort of not touching the roses. I'll use that another time, that little off cut. And what else did I want to do? Let's let's decorate the inside. Now I might go Knight of Navy on the inside. And let me see if I've got I'm gonna go that will do it there. And let's see. <coughs> So I'm going to go 10 centimeters for my insert by 14.4 and then I'm going to do a layer of white and it will be 9.5 by 13.9 centimeters. They're good little panels to keep the um, sentiment on. Okay. So let's put a Knight of Navy in first. I haven't done this on my other cards, my sample cards, but I'll go back and do this because I'm liking what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, just put that in, even border all the way around. And always stamp before you stick. So we use Celebrate from this lovely Unbounded Love stamp set. Um, we could do the Happy Birthday inside. Yes, let's do that. And we can also do, <coughs> there's this little flower down here on the Layers of Beauty bundle. And put that inside as well. So let's bring our Knight of Navy ink back in. And I'm going to I'm 
I'm just making sure that's syncing up because my, I've still got a bit of a smear of white ink all over the block. There we go, that looks nice. And happy birthday. Let's put this on straight because that always helps. Okay. There we go. Get rid of our ink. We do not want an accident. I'll put my blocks over here. Clean them in a minute. And I'm going to grab my glue again. So I will be sending out my customer newsletter um, tomorrow. Or oh. ah! <laughs> that didn't go so well for me. Um, Monday, the third of June. Just get rid of that. Um, so that will have my classes on it for June. And if anybody hasn't got a new catalog yet because I've been slack and forgotten to send one out to you, please reach out and let me know and I will get one out to you. There we go. How about, the, oh, bling. We've got to do bling. Okay, so these ones, I've used the iridescent pearls, which I thought looked really nice. Um, let's see. Shall we use those again? I think we will. I'm just having a run of those. And as I said, I can't find my other pokey tool. <laughs> okay, so iridescent pearls there in the annual catalogue. And I love them. They're just so beautiful. So we can put a large one down here. And they're little. There's little and big. I don't think I'll put one on the white because I think it could get lost. I think I'll put them all around the roses. So let's put one up here. And put about one here. There we go. So that's the iridescent pearls. So there we have our whitewash cards. Don't they look nice? They look all quite different, don't they? Because of the different colours. So each card I've just chosen a slightly darker card stock behind to try and accentuate the coloring so that's our card for today do you like the whitewash technique i think it's quite charming so that's mm, misty moonlight and night in night of navy this one is petunia pop and berry burst and this one was lost lagoon and pretty peacock pretty nice i really like it <laughs> so let's just find back here so i hope you enjoyed that um whitewash technique have a go have a go with some open um line art images and see what you think and don't be discouraged if, it, if you don't think it looks any good to start with because as it dries and soaks into the cardstock it actually starts to look good so have a go have a play so, as I said, Card in a Cuppa is now Wednesday at 3 p.m. So that's when I'll be live next. Have a great week, everyone. Um, as I said, I'll be sending out my, my customer newsletter Monday the 3rd of June. I'll get onto that and send that out. And that will have my June classes in it and any specials or promotions that Stamping Up will be doing. And if anything else crops up during the month, I'll send out another one. So have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you on Wednesday at 3 p.m. for Cardinal Kappa. Bye for now.